I think he said that longing for freedom can actually manifest freedom, not just be a useless dream. Yeah, what's really interesting about longing for freedom is um, when you recognize that what you want below um, house, money, job, all these types of things, when you realize in every moment what it is that you want is freedom, and this is really recognized. Um, what can happen is there can be another recognition is that in in the feeling of wanting freedom, in the desire for wanting freedom, there is freedom itself. So when you come down to that momentum that is seeking for freedom, there is also freedom there. Because you can't seek for something that you don't know. So in order to seek for something, there has to also be the taste of it. So in Papaji's book, Wake Up and Roar, um, I love uh, his pointing where it's like when you really drop into the, the seeking for freedom, the wanting to freedom, the actual experience of it, in a way, you become freedom. And the reason that I say that um, longing for freedom can actually manifest freedom is because you are going to go after whatever it is that you're longing for. So when you line up and recognize that what you're actually longing for in every moment is freedom, then you're kind of in the tiger's mouth. There is no other direction to go than towards freedom. It's like the Pac-Man eating itself. So it does manifest freedom. But know that all of this speaking and this going backwards and forwards about spiritual path only exists in our imagination and our meaning mapping. And what this subject really truly is, is going back to that which is beyond meaning. So even though it's great to be able to talk about this subject and to point out illusions, to point out traps and to speak about what actually freedom is, what we're collapsing back into is that which is beyond concepts and words and meaning. So we're collapsing back into the timelessness, the spacious, spacelessness, the stillness, the silence, the unmanifested, that which is apparently experiencing all of this and not separate from that which it's experiencing no thing and all things and in that place even though it's not a place but in that place there is no you and me and past and future doing manifesting not manifesting there are appearances which seem to appear but that um The unmanifested is free from meaning. 